everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning February 22nd, 2021. Before we begin, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. We go deep, we look at your soul's contract, we help you out with whatever's going on on the surface, and hopefully you will feel very empowered. Of course, please make sure that you check out all my courses, meditations, and extra readings over at gumroad.com slash angel souls and a very special thank you to all of my patreon supporters i really appreciate all of your support and help if you would like to support me on patreon i'll leave all of that information down below so for this week a turn of the tide is literally how it just came through (laughs) a turn of the tide so this is going to have you know it's going to have its darker manifestation and it can have its lighter manifestation but some of the things that are coming to pass, uh, it's because of us. Little thing called accountability. We hate it, right? <laughs> but it's what we're putting out into the collective. And, you know, when we see that there's an injustice, well, why did that end up being there anyway? Uh, people hate, you know, advertising or what have you. Well, why do you get sucked in by certain things and that's what people have to use to get you to pay attention you know what i'm saying so these are all these kinds of uh moments where we're turning a corner and and going hey wait a minute okay i don't like that or hey wait a minute (laughs) that's how i am okay i better shift and move and change and do whatever so don't beat yourselves up this week is what i want to say don't beat yourselves up because it's going to be messy It's going to be very, very messy. We might absolutely see people act out. I hope not. I hope you are all making sure that prayer and meditation is a practice for you. If you are somebody who does not believe in that, I have lots of different people who watch these videos. That's okay. Just put good energy out. However you want to see it, I don't care what you call it. (laughs) Just get on board and do your part. That's it. And we can help affect the change that's coming about and help it to be peaceful. Okay. So there is that. I, oh, you know what? That's interesting. I'm getting the feeling big corporations, you know how big corporations, every time there's something trendy out there, they jump on it and they're like, okay, we're a part of this now too. Don't mind us. We just showed up, but okay. We've been part of this the whole time. It's fine. Um, (laughs) we're going to start seeing a little bit, uh, more of a permanent change. The reason why I'm hesitating on this, because I feel that change, like somebody has this idea that says like, okay, we need to implement this. We can't keep running our businesses the way that we have. I just heard interest on credit cards. Interest on loans. (laughs) Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. There's something where a company is trying to come forward and they're trying to help out. Like They, <laughs> they have a, an awakening of sorts and they go, okay, you know what? We can help by doing this. And it's something that we never would have imagined a company would even bother to do, right? Um, and we're going to start seeing a lot more companies starting to do that. Uh, yeah. What in the heck? Oh, I hope so. I hope it's like nice where they come forward and they start thinking of their customers and, you know, giving back a little bit, especially financial institutions, if they would do that. Um, and then, and then I'm getting this feeling, it's all about the structures changing. That's what we're kind of going into the details here. Mm. So when we send out in our energetic field, what kind of world we want to see? When we put out the energy of fairness, we put out the energy of, you know, love and peace and caring and kindness. And even if you're face to face with somebody who wants hurt you, as long as this isn't somebody who's completely unstable, okay? We're talking about like regular, healthy-minded human beings, okay? <laughs> right. But if you're sitting with somebody um, that maybe really wronged you, and it'd be very easy to go, you know what? You did this, this, and this to me. But maybe if you're putting it out 
into your field, right? And into the field. I want peace here. I want harmony. That conversation is going to go very differently. You can't control what the other person's going to do. They might still come at you and do their thing. But how it lands on you, it doesn't have to affect you poorly. I mean, it could just show you, okay, I was a little confused about that situation. I was wondering if you were, you know, a good person, like, to be in my world. And I just, maybe we just misunderstood each other. And now that I'm talking to you, and oh, I see, that's just how you function. And I got my clarity. No, you don't fit in my life and I don't fit into yours. No, this isn't going to work, <laughs> right? Kind of thing. So there is that. So I have to kind of just see what is happening to the bigger institutions out there. And really what it is, is the, um, and, and how <laughs> we're being asked to change too, and how we're being um, asked to change what we put into the collective field. Yes. So there's that. So there are a couple different messages going on here, but whatever structures, um, this is, I, I just have to say all of the big companies, you know, when they start being a little fairer in how they approach things, um, then others either have to kind of follow along with that or they're going to start crumbling. I'm feeling the example of like airlines. Yeah. So when a lot of airlines went to like, for example, basic airfare and you couldn't, it depends on the airline, but you can do this, you can do that, you know, what have you. And then another airline comes up and says, Hey, we're going to charge you the same amount for that ticket, but we're going to give you all of the amenities. You know, the other ones have to kind of go along with it or, you know, they're going to lose the business. It's that kind of thing. Okay. So someone is setting a precedent and others are coming on in. So whoever comes out front and says, I'm going to do this for people. This is how we are going to give back. They're going to go down in history as like the hero, right? That was the industry. That was the business. That was the CEO. That was the, you know, board that, that did this, this, and this. So that's just one potential coming out of this time. And again, the messaging here around watch what you're putting out there. And I want to, I think it does kind of go along with that big corporation thing, because if you're somebody who's always like, ah, big corporation, meh, 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 you know, you, <laughs> do people do that? I don't know. But you're actually putting that out there when in fact, we could be putting out a different frequency of cooperation. And I, I've been saying this for a long time, people who, um, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a mental health care practitioner whatsoever, um, it's just my opinion, <laughs> I have to say that this is a message that's coming through, but I have to say it's my opinion. Um, but you know, people who had something happen to them in childhood that then maybe developed into something like narcissism, they became a sociopath, you know, whatever, whatever disconnected them from their feelings. Um, we can maybe send them some love, but that's about all we can do because this world isn't going to support them anymore. It's just not going to support them. And I would hope that there is sort of a range there. The way I always see that is like people getting scared and denying a part of their soul. And I always like to think that there's still a glimmer there, that that glimmer could come on back. You could always, you know, say, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to bring more of my soul light forward. Um, but I guess in the psychological community, they think that, or there, there's common thought, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, I'm no professional around this, but that it can't be cured. Um, mostly because narcissists think they're perfect. <laughs> right? But if they're in a world that is no longer supporting that or being an enabler to that messaging, then what? Will they go and get help? Will they start to heal that, whatever that first wound was? I wonder, I hope, I hope, because be really nice if we could all just be really nice <laughs> and loving and caring and genuine with one another. The era of the persona is done. I love this. So we're getting, <laughs> you know, I do. Uh, so we're getting into this space where we're going to start appreciating more authenticity. Yes. So remember authenticity doesn't mean, oh, I'm going to tell it like it is. Sometimes that's an act as well. I see that all the time. You know, YouTube people perform quite a bit, whether they're pretending to know everything or whatever. Okay. <laughs> it's usually just some sort of performance. So 
we're gonna start getting a little more real. And I love that. So if you are, let's say, a visual artist, let's say uh, you do vlogging and you do beautiful vlog stories, you know, like cinematic, whatever. I don't even know the terminology. That's how, that's how much this isn't that, okay? <laughs> but let's say you do that. That's beautiful. You're being authentic. You're doing your thing. But somebody who's just got their camera phone in their kitchen making cookies, that's good too. We all just want to see one another. There is this surge of sort of rediscovering each other, but each other through that, that soul self. Yes. Is this making any sense or is this like, did I go off the rails? I, maybe I went off the rails. I don't know. Hi, <laughs> but where can there be more kindness and less judgment? I will give the example of if you were somebody who says that, you know, you want change in this world, you want good things in this world and yet you're always diminishing others just especially if you see them as your enemy or your opposite or whatever they're not your enemy they're not your opposite what you see in another is also in you yeah ow what huh i hate that thumbs down do it there's always somebody hanging out and just ready for whenever i premiere <laughs> thumbs it down and i'm like thank you i love that okay <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? Like whatever we believe in, that's wonderful. But try to be loving and compassionate and explore the opposite, right? <laughs> explore why somebody else might have the perspective that they have. You know, it, it's about the cooperation and not competing and trying to win out or be right or get into a self-righteous mode uh, just because you think you're going to save the world. No group of people alone will save the world. We save the world by coming together. That's what we gotta do. Now, it's not gonna happen just this week. <laughs> Sorry about it, but you know, we, we need to start shifting our mindset. All right, does that make sense? Okay, let's get onto the cards. Okay, what do we have for this week? All right, something like that. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so we have, first out, what do you need to release, waning moon? Release the hate, release the judgment. Stop trying to make trouble with people because you think that that's gonna make you right. Um, biggest thing, well, the number one thing that I was taught when I first moved to New York City was, you know, show people you're not to be messed with. And so this, I don't know, this barricade, I put this barricade around myself and, you know, I wasn't really open to having, you know, loving experiences because I was always on the defensive. And that is definitely something that as I've gotten older, I realize I got to release that. I can handle whatever comes my way. I'm strong. I have some wisdom, a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I feel, I'm wiser than I was before. Let's put it that way. So that is an example of something we might think about releasing. Where are you taking your frustrations out on other people? Where are you blaming others? It comes down to the energy we put out there. And that's why when we elevate and we kind of come into this higher consciousness, we can leave the very intricate, fragmented uh, story behind and we can reunite. That is what we're trying to work towards ultimately. Okay, so think about what you might need to release. All right, the next card out, a time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. So this is another uh, thing where it's like, instead of trying to stand out and just, you know, take the spotlight or take the attention or uh, whatever, take the reward, <laughs> you know, like I'm gonna win out so I can get this. Let's be right here. Let's be more cooperative with one another. Let's stop trying to take from one another. Outdo one another. Step on each other's necks. I did, when was that, last week? I, I gave an example of, I was in a corporate environment and I had a boss that, um, I, I can't even get into what must be wrong with this person. Um, you know, and I'm not trying to put that out as a judgment, but definitely the, the feedback I would get from her energetically was a little jarring. And this person was abusive, okay? There's no other way around it. I don't throw that word around lightly. This person was abusive. 
and felt the need. I think this person was incredibly insecure and just had to throw everybody down so she felt above. And that is not, unfortunately, that is what a lot of people in this world do and we have to stop. And we can stop by not playing into that. So that is setting a boundary with people like that. It might mean that you have to leave the job. This was the person who wanted to throw me on the floor and have me just sit on the floor all day until she decided she needed me. And uh, I quit, I left. I still had to spend several weeks or a few weeks at that place. So I just kind of glazed it over. I didn't say flat out, that's why I'm leaving. But you know, I mean, I left because it was abusive. It was terrible. Uh, so this is that kind of thing. Let's not do that to one another. Not, that's an extreme example. I hope most people aren't functioning like that. But um, you know, this is a time for more cooperation. And if you don't feel like you have high self-esteem, don't take it out on others. Work on that. It's not as awful as you think, right? Especially, you know, psychologically speaking, if you want to get with a therapist, a professional, you know, you don't have to suffer through and you certainly don't need to play games. That's what we're talking about here. Not, no longer playing games. How many did I pull already? Two? All right, let's get another one. Games aren't going to work. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. I'm hearing clean it up, clean up, okay? So again, we might be pushing on something because we think it's going to bring us happiness. Uh, we might, I keep hearing competing, like all this competition. We need to stop competing with one another. And that means power struggles too. And being so afraid, here's one for you, hold on. Here's one, you love somebody, but you're so afraid that you're not worthy of them that you try to control them. You gotta break that one down for, for yourself if that resonates with you. So your dreams need a practical plan. It's one thing to, you know, have the fantasy, but how are you going to implement it into your third dimensional ego consciousness world? What can you do? And again, you know, the practical plan doesn't have anything to do with, okay, practical plan, knock that person out of that role. <laughs> get that man to divorce his wife. I mean, oh Lord, don't do that. Okay. Like my God, that's the opposite of what we're trying to work towards. Okay. Let's get this last card here. What do we have? Oh, there. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. The way things come about may not look the way you want. You might be reevaluating what you thought you wanted. And it's funny because I feel like some of you out there are really going to take a different approach. You see the error of your ways and that's nice. Okay. That shows a lot of growth and it can be going back to an old dream, whether that is, I don't know, a relationship that never got off the ground. Um, maybe cause I get the feeling like some, someone out there gave up their career to stay home with a child, which is beautiful and amazing. But now that child may be, is a little bit older, doesn't need you at home so much. So you're going back to an old dream, right? You're returning to it, you're exploring it, but it might look different, it might look different. You might say, well, I always thought I was gonna be a, I don't know, pick something, a <laughs> professional baker. And I always imagined that I would be making this kind of thing and decorating wedding cakes and all this stuff, but really, you know, I think I just want to join somebody else in their business and help them out instead of owning my own or what have you. You see what I'm saying? So you start to adjust because you're a different person now than when you originally had that dream. And that too can work well for people who uh, you've done a lot of growth as far as like maybe trying to reconnect with a friend or someone from the past. Again, make sure you're not just running back to old, old dynamics. But if you're a different person now and you want to go back and try it again, for some of you that might work out, might work out. There you go. All right, let's get a call card. Hi, hi, table's down here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Gray, learn to scan your body. The number is 29. So 
this is paying attention to the messaging that's coming through you. Okay. So if you, I'm really hung up on this example of like a person going back to a person of the past. I don't know why, but let's say every time you think of that person from the past, you feel sick. You gotta ask yourself, what is that sickness from? It'd be very easy, especially in the spiritual community for people to be like, oh, cause they're bad energy. Why do you feel sick? Because that was a very painful memory. Why do you feel sick? I didn't do anything. Why do you feel sick? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have cheated on him. Maybe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you get to the place where, you know, where is your accountability in everything, <laughs> okay? Or, you know, this could be, of course, if you have some aches, pains, what have you, uh, make sure you're checking with a doctor, yes? Um, but yeah, pay attention to your body this week. Your body's going to have some messages for you. If you think of, um, I don't know, a job opportunity and your heart opens and you feel such a beautiful sense of purpose, pay attention to that. Okay. That is very good messaging. <laughs> so I hope that made sense guys. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.